Good morning. Paul and Pauline here and we're down by the Brisbane River. And we're bringing you a reading out of John chapter 1 that is so well worth meditating upon because if, if you get a revelation from this, it'll change your life. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Just meditate on that for a little while. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. That is worth just contemplating and meditating upon until it sinks in. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. You weren't even created without the Word, but He created all things, and He is so worth worshipping and loving and following. We'll carry on there in verse 6. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. And that, of course, is John the Baptist. Verse 9. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and through the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognise him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. And for many of us who have followed Jesus, we have been born again, born of God, and we have been given the right to be called children of God. It's all there in that scripture. And here we are, verse 14. The word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John's writing this, he was a, he was a disciple, follower of Jesus. He has seen him. He said, the word became flesh and it made his dwelling among us. We've seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And what a blessing that's been for the whole world. What a blessing for everyone who has heard of his name, who's listened to him, who's followed him, who's believed in him. He says, if you want to follow me, he says, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow me. And he says, I will make you something. He will make us something in the kingdom of God, whether it be a fisherman of men or whether it be a doctor, a teacher, a lawyer, a candlestick maker, whatever. Jesus will make you what he wants you to be for the kingdom of God. How about that, Pauline? It's wonderful, absolutely wonderful to know that we have been specially made. We're all specialists. Absolutely specialist indeed but we love Jesus and we love the fact that we can be called children of God
Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the children of God. Hallelujah. You get into his word yourself. That's out of John chapter 1. And let the word get into you. Yeah, that's what really matters. Bye for now. Bye.